All right, so this is a response to a question on our RPG Maker over on Reddit. And Shamil Zero asked, can I stack states and or make buffs, debuffs for extra parameters like evasion or crit rate? So we're going to go ahead and show how that might get done. So we're here in RPG Maker MZ. I'm going to open up my database and I'm going to go to a skill I prepared called Achilles Heel. So we give it a name and an icon and then a description, slice the target's Achilles Heel. Oops, wrong heal there. Uh, dealing damage and reducing evasion stacks twice. So that would meet the idea. So give it a skill type, give it a cost if you want, a scope, and occasion. We can change that to battle screen only. Whether it's a certain hit, physical attack, or magical attack, we're going to make it a physical attack. And you could apply an animation. I'm going to go ahead and just apply the slash. Okay? For methods, I'm just using the basic. Uh, user uses the skill. Then I'm going to turn on my damage formula. I'm going to set it to HP damage because it does HP damage. And then I'm going to put this formula in. I'm going to copy this into a notepad so that we can go over it together. Onto the screen. And we'll see if we can make it bigger for folks. Just one minute. Zoom, zoom in. There we go. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So this is JavaScript, which is the language that RPG Maker MZ runs on. And this is an if-else statement. So we're saying if, and then in parentheses, the condition that needs to be true. So if the target has the state 34, or the target has the state 35, the curly bracket means then, essentially, then we want to remove state 34, add state 35. Otherwise, we just want to add state 34 because that means they don't have either one. And then we're going to have the attack. The attack has to be at the end because damaging uh, in a damage formula, the damage has to be at the end. And this is just the attack from the basic attack. So user.attack times 4 minus uh, target.defense times 2. Okay, So that is the heart of what we're doing. So what is state 34 and state 35? Let's go take a look. So in my states section, I have 34, which is debuff evasion. And it uh, takes evasion down by 10%, and it lasts two turns. Then I have 35, which is debuff evasion plus. It takes it down by 20% and lasts two turns. So when you put that all together, what we are doing is creating a scenario where we have a skill that checks if they already have a debuff on their evasion. If so, they add the better debuff. If not, they add the base debuff. So uh, that creates the situation where you have a stackable debuff that does damage and will turn itself off after two turns. So I believe that answers the question. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to other folks. And thank you for the question, Shamil Zero. I hope I got your username correct. Take care and happy game making.